Today, I'm going to show you guys the brand new Water Balloon Finder enchant, which you can use to get a free weekly crate valued at $40 on the store. Let's get right into it. Hello and welcome back to some Akuma MC Prisons, the number one Minecraft prison server and Skyblock server of 2024. All the information down in the description. Let's hop right into it. I am going to be doing a lot today. I have 500 trillion tokens and 32 million gems, and that's not counting what I haven't claimed yet, which is only really 11 trillion tokens and a few gems, 500k uh, gems. But it's still something. It's still pretty damn good. Today, I am going to be grabbing the Water Balloon Finder Enchant. Now, what is so good about this enchant is, you can see here in Water Balloon Shop, for 75,000 water balloons, we can grab ourselves a weekly crate, which is absolutely crazy. The only thing is I can only get seven levels into it. We do have multiplier finder max. We have a level in the black hole and we don't have lottery. So I do think I want to get lottery first. Get one level into this because let's just get it out of the way. It costs like a million or something. Then the rest of it, we can still get seven levels. That's absolutely perfect. Seven levels into that. And now it's going to cost eight million for the next level. I'm actually going to get 33 levels into black hole. I also now just realized I don't have my sounds on. I'm not entirely sure what I want to get. I could go ahead and max out Nuke for 100 trillion, which I kind of want to do. Let's go ahead and finish off Token Merchant. Let's finish off Nuke, because I want to do that. Um, Fortune, huh? That does max it out. Let's go ahead and max out Fortune. Am I just going to go through and max out a bunch of enchants? Is that going to be the whole thing? I could do that. I don't think I can max out this and this. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and get 45 levels into Lucky. I think that's worth it. I think, yeah, I want to get some more XP, but I'm not too, too worried about it. Um, I feel like that's a pretty good spread for our tokens and gems. I should have probably did this first before spending my tokens, if I'm being honest. But oh well, you know what? The order doesn't matter. This is going to be my absolute, uh, if it stop lagging, main pet. This guy's going to be my second because they're freaking insane. Let's go and open up these bad boys right here. Bam, 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 bam. I got 32 drills and three ultra drills. That is pretty freaking massive, actually. What's my current challenges, actually? We'll take a quick break from the opening. Oh, I have everything done but the 40,000 blocks, so I'll get that in a little bit after we're done opening things, I guess. Oh, it just straight up does all of them now instead of making you do that. That is a huge change. Okay, well, unfortunately, actually, do I have to go to the spawn for these still? Or did they change that? <gasps> they changed that! Oh, dude, I love that. I, well, I know that they did change it, or had changed it before, but I know that there was an issue with it, so they had to, like, redo this i forgot these give me a lot of things that i should be salvaging okay we got through all of those and this is what i ended up getting we actually i thought i got an upgrade on those but i did not i did get an upgrade on pants which i'll be dealing with in a little bit um i already have those and a not an upgrade wow i actually thought i got a lot more upgrades than i did but i mean i didn't Oh, Night Fury level one. <gasps> Mead's Wrath level one. <gasps> That's freaking huge. Oh, and Shadow Clone level one. Is that every single skin now? The eye is level two, and it does give gems and rank XP, which is kind of mainly what I want. Tokens could be cool too, but I'm going to go ahead and go with the eye because I'd have to upgrade this guy a little bit to make Shadow Clone a little better. I did get some armor upgrades here. We actually got an upgrade of pants, which actually I'm just going to go ahead and salvage those because there's no reason to throw them on this. Same thing with these ones. Actually, sorry, they do have some levels into them. So let's go ahead and transfer that onto the legendary. And then uh, the chest plate. Uh, well, it didn't really, it doesn't have any progress, but it is an upgrade nonetheless, which is super awesome. And we can salvage these for a little bit of salvage points. Like I said, I want to try and get some water balloons. We have seven levels into it. Hopefully we can get some. I think it'll just put them in our inventory, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's not. Maybe they did away with that way or doing it that way. Maybe it's just an enchant that activates and just gives you like a currency, just all virtual. Water balloon finder is activated. You found you 35 water balloons. Now if we go ahead and do slash water balloons, you can see we've got a total of 35, which 
of course, is not going to get us much, but it's going to help us see that it, uh, uh, roughly what it's going to be like. I'm going to go for another 40 minutes of this, and I'm going to see roughly how effective this enchant is at giving us water balloons, and roughly how long it would take us to get enough for that beautiful monthly crate, or I guess, sorry, weekly crate. I'm used to have monthly crates still for some reason, and of course, it's not maxed out. I'm going to try to max it out slowly as I play. Um, I just don't know if it's gonna be that viable. It seems like last season they were doing it as like a little beta to see how it would work and kind of test it out, figure out what people liked, and then they quickly figured out a better way to do it, which is absolutely amazing. Just one of the many things that you can experience on the Akuma MC server. Come join, all the information is down in the description. Hey, water balloon finder, nice! Um, also, hold on, let's, uh, you know what, yeah, let's get more Vein Miner, we're gonna keep working on that, and, I, I mean, 8 million gems, I gotta save up 8 million gems, man, that's, that's gonna be a while. The unfortunate thing is, I can't even open things to get gems, I guess I can open things to get tokens, so that I could get gems in, in the long run, but, I don't know. I'll probably do that after this booster runs out, I'll just slam through some openables real fast, and I'll do the same thing where I just kind of give you guys a quick sh uh, showcase of what I got from them, just to save time, uh, and then, you know, I'll spend my tokens, and then we'll get back to mining, hopefully that'll give me a big boost into gems and everything, but I don't know. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about the challenges! Or I guess I did forget about the challenges. Let me actually go ahead and get these knocked out, that should be more than enough drills, if I'm being honest. Well, it doesn't help if I mess it up, but I was gonna say it'd probably be about two more lines. Oh. That's okay. I mean, honestly, I get so many drills. I know I do, so I just don't care. Man, that took so much longer because my mind kept resetting. I ended up using 64 drills and an extra 16, and I'm losing momentum, I think. Yep, I lost momentum. So then now I can do slash skills. Go to currency. I've got one skill point. Now we get 3% pet XP. That's super awesome. And then if I go ahead and do slash challenge you can see uh i've actually got all of these done except for well pickaxe level 50 will adjust in a bit so i just need 45,000 blocks oh this is actually perfect as well my pet ran out a little bit ago and my booster's about to run out so i'm not wasting any time on my pet and i realized something that i actually wanted to check one i want to go and claim all my rewards from this because they're beautiful, and I gotta go back to that page in a second. Okay, the reward is still just as crazy as I thought. Guys, literally playing for 10 days, uh, and then uh, 14 days, you get a total of three weekly crates. I've already played for a total of a day, and I've just kind of afk if I'm being honest. Almost two days, half of two days, which I guess would be a day. I... D d shut up me all right i've officially opened up everything and this is what i am left with we've got a lot of these beautiful tokens that is level three on the eye which is super awesome which if i'm not mistaken that's what i'm using right yeah perfect lumberjack level three that's actually pretty huge and i did get some upgraded pieces of gear here so we've got upgraded pet gear which is super awesome legendary uh boots we got a legendary chest plate which is also awesome i can override that one give those levels up we got uh oh you're not an upgrade right i forgot i grabbed this one as well because i'm debating on selling it for one uh but also it's funny because i was thinking i was like Man, I should just get rid of these common skin boxes. They're probably not going to give me anything good. And immediately, I skimmed over a mythic. I was like, oh, I can't wait to see what that is. It was that piece, which I already have. All right, I got 30 seconds left on this pet. We've made some decent progress so far today. I feel like ranks are always going to be super slow. Um, but if I keep doing this formula of dropping bombs on my mine, then it shouldn't really be a problem. Alright, our pet has officially run out. Let me go ahead and check- Oh, hey, water balloon finder! Let me check the pets. I want to see if I can find a better of- Oh, pet fragments. I need a little miner that is good rarity, though. But I need to see the prices. Yeah, you can see these guys, uh, apparently go for a lot. Could I sell my custom tag for 1Q? I would do that right now if I could. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and sell my custom tag for 1.5Q, see if anyone buys it. If they do, I'm buying a better uh, version of this pet. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and also do a little mine reset, uh, and let me see where I'm actually at on these challenges. Yeah, I do have everything done, just need 45,000 blocks, so that shouldn't really be a problem. It also might end up resetting my mine. If it's not enough, I'm just gonna mine the rest of- I mean, I did say it was probably gonna reset my mine, I just figured it would- you know, finish. I'm just gonna finish off these sta this stack. I might as well at this point. Ugh. And challenge. I probably should have did that first. Whatever, man. Another level. Let's go. Sk Give me the skill point already, dude. 
3% pickaxe XP boost. Absolutely beautiful. And I can go ahead and store that up for later. So I don't think I'm going to get another level of this enchant. I just don't think it's within my power because I do not have enough gems. I can get Cluster Bomb now. And at 100, I can get Napalm Strike. This does give more tokens. I could also max this out. You know what? Okay, maybe not max it out, but let's go and do that so I can start getting more levels to get more enchants. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and open some things and see what we can get. Actually, I do want to get to pickaxe level 90 first. I think that would be pretty sick. Can I get to pickaxe level 90? Can I get to 100? I am going to still open these things as I do it, though. You know, I thought of something that kind of bothers me that I'm not sure if I'm just missing it or if I, you know, if I'm just, if I'm just dumb or I don't know, but there's rarities to skin boxes. There's rarities to skins and skin tokens, but it's not very apparent the rarities. We're going to go ahead and open up one of these V kit crates and we'll open up the other one in a little bit. And I just remembered something else I want to check. Ooh, pet candy. That's pretty nice. Ooh, six epic robots. That is super awesome. Let's go ahead and open up this V kit crate and see what we get. Armor stone, more robot generators, and epic robots. I got literally the same exact rewards, guys. Hey, lottery got me 40 trillion tokens. That's massive. Ooh, and I had a pouch ready to open. That's also massive. Love that. You know, I actually like the fact the Jackhammer is a level 150 enchant this season. At first, I didn't, but I kind of, I'm kind of vibing with it. I just like that it starts off a little slow, like, technically not too slow, like, it's still pretty fast, but we start off doing this method, and, you know, our mind not going layer by layer, whatever, whole thing. But then eventually we get Jackhammer again, and, well, we start just slamming through the mine. Actually getting a decent amount of Water Balloon Finder procs, with these, it, uh, uh, enchants with these pets that'll actually be very good i mean i'm waiting to see how many we have i haven't checked yet okay xp finder was a good was a good grab um i wasn't too worried about it honestly i don't think i need pickaxe armor at all this season i i i, I honestly think i just lean into tokens tokens and maybe pet finder gear i might do half and half on that now a few things i want to go ahead and do number one i want to check not wall water balloons i want to see how many i'm at 1.5k now we need 75,000, right which means that it's probably not going to be possible for me unless i get some seriously good procs but we'll see that is the end of this one. Join the server, guys. All the information is down in the description. Number one, Prisons and Skyblock server of 2024. Akuma MC always on top. And I'll see you guys in the next one.